Be prepared for the possibility of flooding tomorrow and strong storms. Flooding is uh, one of the top causes of weather related deaths actually here in the United States. Yeah, and with that threat looming for us here in the Charlotte area, we want to check in with meteorologist KJ Jacobs. So KJ, you're talking about how folks can prepare themselves for a big storm like this. Mm -hmm. That's right, Vanessa and Colin. With two to five inches of rain in the forecast for tomorrow in a short amount of time, consider this. The leaves are off the trees, vegetation is dormant. We can have runoff and scattered flooding across the area. So I want to show you some of the high risk flood areas, homes, their rivers and creeks and streams, bodies of water that can rise rapidly, can catch you off guard. Some of those low lying areas, areas that are prone to flooding from a heavy rain event, also poor drainage areas. And we know some of those trouble spots as we're driving around in our neighborhoods and some of the areas we travel on our daily commute. I want to show you this illustration here. If you can see this body of water here, if we can move this super there at the bottom of the screen, you can see this body of water. We cross um, roads like this and notice how this water can quickly rise. And this is what we want you to do if you approach a scenario like this for tomorrow. We want you to stop and find an alternate route. Do not cross a road covered with water because you can end up like this vehicle here. Notice how now that car has stalled out in that body of water and then someone will have to risk their life to try to rescue that person. And you're certainly not encouraged to swim or cross and walk through a rising water, especially flood waters. It does not take much for a car to stall out or even float in Russian water. Notice here, you also don't want to underestimate the power of water Take a look at this illustration here. A foot of water can carry a car. Russian water can also, two feet of Russian water can also um, move SUVs and large trucks. Now coming up, I want to show you some of these areas. Also, do not go around a barricade if you see a road that is blocked off.